Welcome to season two of the Psy Guys. On today's episode, Smoke Waterfalls. Welcome to season two of the Psy Guys. I'm Ryan. And I'm still Mark. And on today's episode, we're going to be showing you Smoke Waterfalls. Don't go no. chasing... No. Why not? You could sing with me. No, one is enough. One is too much. In this episode, we'll be exploring the effects of temperature on the density of gas. Namely, as it gets warmer, it becomes lighter and heavier as it cools down. The equipment you're going to need for this experiment includes a package of post-it notes, a paper clip, a small beaker or glass, and a butane lighter. The safety equipment we're going to need for this experiment include an apron or lab coat to protect from spills and splashes, and a fire extinguisher just in case the fire does get out of control. The first step in our experiment is to take one of your sticky notes off your pad and to roll it into a small tube just a little bit smaller than a pencil. You're going to want to keep the sticky side of your sticky note on the inside so that it holds your tube together. We're going to use our paper clip to make a holder for our paper tube. So we're going to just unwind it. And we found it's easiest to use a pen or a pencil as a winding guide to make the tip. And then the rest of it just bend like so, so we can put it over the rim of the glass. Now that we have our paper tube and our holder ready, we're ready to go to the next step. Take your tube and put it through the hole in the holder, and then hang your holder on the edge of the glass. The final step is to light the top of the paper tube with a butane lighter. Point the lighter across the tube and not down it. The paper tube should continue to burn. If it doesn't, then use the lighter to continually burn the top end of the tube. This will help to produce enough smoke to cause the waterfall effect. Let's look at this experiment a little closer. During combustion, when paper is burned, it breaks down into millions of gaseous molecules like carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and water vapor. Normally these molecules are heavier than air, but the flame that is produced during combustion excites these molecules, making them lighter than air which creates the rising smoke that you see from a normal fire. In our experiment, all the hot smoke molecules are being trapped in the paper tube, which prevents them from rising. The trapped smoke molecules are given time to cool off, which releases the energy that allowed them to be lighter than air. The cooler smoke molecules fall instead of rise and escape out the bottom of the paper tube. This creates the smoke waterfall effect. Well, that's it for Smoke Waterfalls. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed our video, or if you're just on the fence about it, let us know in the comments below and, and subscribe for future episodes. Remember, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you have any questions related to this experiment, or about science in general, let us know in the comments below or on Facebook and we'll try to help you out as best possible. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. One, two, three. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Here at Psy Guys, we're always curious how experiments turn out. So if you do these experiments at home, share a video or photo of them with us on our Facebook or Google Plus page. But remember to always ask your parents' permission before you share any photos or videos.